All I ever wanted to do was preach. It came natural to me. I was born to do it. And I love every aspect of the calling, except for this part, dealing with the people. Not the faithful, not the saints. They're fine. They just need hope. They just need guidance. It's these so-called leaders that are the problem. They show up late. I, I got to fight with them to go to Bible study. Half the stuff that they do at church, they would never even consider doing at work. This is glorified babysitting, and now I got to deal with this. What am I going to do? God, I need your help. I need your guidance. Please. But man. Hey. Everybody's ready. Kenny too? What's up, Kenny, sir? That's my son. Can I get you anything? Uh, coffee. Okay. Hey, Johnson. Yes, sir? Let me ask you something. You think I'm a good leader? Honestly. Pastor, I want to be here if you want. I'll see you out there. Johnson's good. Johnson's a good brother. He, he's always been supportive. I don't wouldn't suspect him. It's, but my son, I, what I'm going to do with Kenny? It's making me look bad. He's always late. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna just. I don't know. I don't know. I got things to do. Well, you know, I'm supposed to be leading worship. Good morning. Thank you. Pastor, it is unlike you to call impromptu meetings, and there are several things I need to accomplish before service. Uh, will this be long? I do not want to miss praise and worship. Right. <laughs> right. Well, maybe if you'd stop calling in on Fridays, your work would be done. Considering I have to fix all of your work, I wouldn't have to call in on Friday anyway. Okay, okay listen. Listen up. First lady, not right now. Please. Well, it's the truth. This meeting is not meant to be long, it's meant to be informative, all right? So I'm gonna just get straight to the point. I have a couple things I wanna say. Should we pray first? You know, I've been here since 6 a.m., been praying all morning, so let's accept the fact that God is already in the midst. Amen. 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 So now we all know that only 20 to 30% of New Revelation members pay their tithes, correct? Right. right. Can you all imagine if the entire congregation did their part, paid their tithes, and gave their offerings? This ministry will be able to do any and everything it needed to do. Yes. Yes. Everything we talked about, correct? Now, as leaders, we lead the way, right? So I assume everybody on this leadership team is doing their part in paying their tithes, correct? Yes. Absolutely. Well, really? Yes. I see it differently. Over the past several months, I took a closer look to the finances, and I was thoroughly surprised. Let me see those envelopes. I have here everybody's tithe reports over the last quarter. Johnson, pass these around. Find your name, pull your envelope, and pass the rest around, and do not open them until I ask you to. Are you giving us these just to show us? Or are you expecting us to give an account of our finances in front of all these people? What's your goal with this? <laughs> What's my goal? I want everybody to be accountable to each other. I need to know that the people in this room have my back. And based on the giving, some of you aren't committed to this ministry. And if you're not, then that's fine. But I need leaders to lead by example, Joey. So are you saying we're only good leaders if we're paying tithes? No. What I'm saying is, as leaders, you're all mature. You're all seasoned enough to understand the significance of giving. All right, I'm fine, I'm fine. Yes. Yes. You all have some form of education, correct? Yes. You all have some form of employment. Yes. Some of you even work full-time at this ministry. Yes. 
Now, it's always been a requirement that if you're a leader at New Revelation, you pay your tithe. I've given 100% of my tithe to this church for the past 10 years. Well, apparently I'm not speaking to you. So. No, I mean, he's talking to the ones that know they have it, that committed to it, that used to pay it, and have stopped, and aren't given a reason why. Right. What if people just don't have it? Everybody's got something. Those shoes you're wearing are looking mighty new. They are new, and actually yours look pretty new too. Thank you. Uh, watch yourself, daughter. Don't go disrespecting the first lady. Uh, pastor, I know I pay my tithes. I always have, always will. And I don't need anyone up in here thinking I'm the one not paying. So there y'all have it. My tithes are paid. So yeah. am I. Mine I'm too. Mine. I, 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 I do. I do. I do. I do. I do. I do. I Listen. Listen, everybody. I didn't hand you those envelopes to go over your personal information in front of everyone. I handed them to you so you can see your own information for yourself. Well, Daddy, everybody... Excuse me? Did you forget what we are? Church. Sorry. Pastor, everybody in here has said they are paying their tithes. Are you saying we aren't? What's the problem? I don't get it. Go ahead and open your envelope. Oh, uh, 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 wait a second, this is incorrect. Mine is wrong. This is not right. Hello, this is not right. This is not right. Mine is wrong. So is mine. So I received an update late last night from our accountant. And she asked me to run a report and give her an update because her numbers did not match ours. That's what I did, and this is what I found. Well, you can see the reports are wrong. I don't get the point of all this. Really? Either your accountant is way off, or... Or what? Someone is stealing. Exactly. Someone is stealing from this ministry. And that someone is in this room right now. Wait, what I miss? I want to see everyone who has access to the finances in my office. Now!